So for this example, we've got um, this matrix A. We're trying to find um, an LU decomposition. So we start by carrying on the usual Gaussian elimination. Row 1 is going to be multiplied by negative 2, then add that to row 2. Row 1 is also going to be multiplied by negative 3, and then add that to row 3. So A becomes 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, negative 5, 0, negative 1, negative 2. Okay. Now at this point, um, what we have to do is swap these two rows. So um, row 2 swaps with row 3 and a is now 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 1, negative 2, 0, 0, negative 5. And it's now in reduced echelon form, so we can just call this u. Okay, now to find L, we look at each zero, look at its leading variable, and ask ourselves, what did we multiply this leading variable with to get this to zero, okay? And to get this zero right here, which was here, when we got it to zero, we multiplied by negative three, so this is gonna be three. And to get this zero, we multiplied this one by negative two, so this is gonna be two. Um, to get this zero, we didn't multiply um, this leading variable, any leading variable in this column by any number, so it's basically going to be zero, okay? So this is L, and this is U. Let us try to multiply L and U. So L is going to be 1, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, and U is 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 1, negative 2, 0, 0, negative 5. Okay, you can pause the video and carry on this multiplication. But anyway, it is gonna um, yield in 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, 7, and 2, 4, 1, which is actually not A. Um, and this does make sense because A actually doesn't have an LU decomposition because if we look at all the leading principal minors, so this one's going to be just 1, but this one is um, 4 minus 2 by 2, which is 0. Um, and this just says that we can't decompose A into just L and U. But we, what we can do is decompose A into P, L, U. So I'm going to introduce P here, P here, and P here. So P is a permutation matrix, and um, a permutation matrix just um, an identity matrix with rows interchanged or columns interchanged. Okay, so um, basically, what how how we find this P is um, start with I, then apply all row interchanges on it that we did during this operation. So we um, interchange it row 2 and row 3 so i is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 we're gonna also interchange these so p is 1 0 0 0 0 1 and 0 1 0 now this is p and this is l and this is u when we multiply these three now we're gonna get a so these two will be swapped back they will be 2, 4, 1, and 3, 5, 7. And this is just the PLU decomposition. Okay, now permutation matrices generally follow, um, they, they are also orthogonal matrices, so they follow uh, the fact that P transpose is equal to P inverse. And in some cases, such as when you interchange just two rows, like here, um, the matrix is symmetric so p transpose is equal to p and it becomes that p is even equal to p inverse and p squared is equal to i okay so um this was just 
um, how to do a PLU decomposition, just go through the normal steps. If you do any row interchanges, then do this on I, and this is going to be then your P. Okay. Now, the PLU decomposition doesn't care if any of the um, leading principal minors are zero. There are no restrictions, except that, of course, the matrix has to be square. Okay, so that's going to be it. Um, I hope you liked the video, and thank you so much.